My name is Eileen Smith and I'm currently the project director for a grant that's called the Marin Next Generation Collaborative and I work at Marin County Office of Education. I did not start in education. All I wanted to do, this sounds incredibly selfish, but I just wanted to be like an amazing business person. So I had a degree in psychology and a minor in business and I went to work for Citicorp. And I loved, loved working with numbers and making deals. And when I was coaching one year, there was a group of eighth grade girls and they hated mathematics. They didn't realize that math was important for so many fields. And at that point in time, I missed my children and it was like something just happened. And I said, I'm quitting my job and I started teaching mathematics. I have always been interested in how do students really learn mathematics and learn it deeply and for me it's the sense making i want to make sure that students are doing math because they're solving a problem because it makes sense to them and so what happened last year was um, raquel rose who is a phenomenal person at Marin county office of education she saw that there was an opportunity for one of the california math and science projects and we looked at it and i begged her basically well, could you help could we write this grant so we could get teachers countywide doing this phenomenal research as a team. And the whole goal of this grant is to learn how do students learn mathematics and to test our theories. So today, what we were working on was a new protocol called Talking Points. And what we were experimenting with was how do we get every child in the classroom to speak? Because sometimes in the whole class discourse, we've realized some voices are not heard. This particular protocol required three rounds where each student had to agree or disagree or say they weren't sure and why. And what we were really looking for and most excited about was the thinking change throughout the process. And that's what we're trying to see. What is it that changes a student's thinking based on what their peers said? And so for me, it's just this huge continuation of a journey to say, how do we change ourselves because we grew up in an environment where we sat and we listened and we took notes and that's what we did. So all of a sudden to say, let's let the children talk, it's like it's losing control, it's hard. And that's been a journey for me, that letting go. It's been a journey for all of us. Mostly I just wanna thank the teachers for allowing me all of these years to try so many things. I've made so many mistakes and they're the most forgiving people on earth and they've just jumped in there and shared with me and then the amazing administrators that have allowed me to jump in and do the crazy things that I do sometimes and allowing me to do this phenomenal work with everybody so I'm a grateful person.